Hello, you're watching Hot Feed, your number one source for celebrity gossip, relationship advice, and the lowdown on all the hot stuff. On today's episode of Hot Feed, four surprising things you don't know about yourself. Number four. I bet my nipples you didn't know your attractiveness could be accurately and scientifically rated on a scale. Here at Hot Feed headquarters, we've constructed two mathematical formulas to accurately represent your attractiveness. For females, we use the Cox score, or CS rating, which is a 1 to 100 numerical indication of your attractiveness. It works as follows. Your picture is shown to 100 men, and we count how many of them get a boner. For example, if we show 100 men a picture of Anna Kendrick and 83 get hard, she has an 83 of 100 CS. Here's a graph to help better understand the system. As you can see, our complex algorithm for assigning a number to your hotness is bulletproof. The green line represents the number of stiff wieners upon seeing the picture of the girl being graded. As the hotness goes up, so does the number of penises. For males, we use the moisture meter, or MM rating. The moisture calculator is a little more complex, so I'm going to need to explain it a little bit more. We show 100 women a picture of one man and then weigh their wet panties. We then weigh them again after they've dried. Then we subtract the initial wet weight from the dry weight and multiply that value by 100, which gives us the moisture percent. Now, we have to get the average of all of this, and then we take that average and then put that on the graph. Now, anything 90% and above means the panties were fucking soaked like they were caught in a tsunami, but reaching 100, that shit's impossible using our formula. Now, I know I'm showing 100% on this graph, but that's just for shits and shitting. But it just can't happen because you need the panties to weigh nothing, so you divide the initial by the initial. But panties are always going to weigh something. Even the driest, dustiest old pair of panties, your grandmother's old undergarments from 1814 that haven't seen action since the Prohibition, are still going to weigh something. So you cannot reach 100 using this. But it's still probably the best way to assign a number to a man's attractiveness. It's not as bulletproof as the Cox score, though. Number three, the third thing you don't know about yourself. It is not only possible, but extremely likely that you and everyone else in this world is living in a computer simulation run by a much more advanced species on the outer rim of space. This theory has been getting more and more attention recently because it keeps getting harder and harder to prove it false. In fact, most of the new things we're learning about the universe actually point to it being the truth. Now, I don't want to dive too deep into this, but if you want to learn more, you can just type in simulated universe theory and there's thousands and thousands of documents and sources that cover it. Here at Hot Feed, we just like to open your eyes to some real heavy shit. Or maybe it's not real, and maybe it's not heavy, maybe it's not even shit. If this is actually a simulation, none of that actually exists. Maybe shit is a really different thing in the actual reality. But for now, this is still real, it's heavy, and it's shit. Number two, I bet you didn't know that men can also lactate. It's been reported a number of times throughout the years, but recent studies confirm that the phenomenon is not only possible, but in fact quite easy. There's two main things that cause male lactation. Number one is certain medications. Toronto-based Dr. Jack Newman confirmed that an antipsychotic drug interfered with the pituitary gland and caused it to overproduce prolactin, which is the hormone necessary for lactation. And that's not the only drug of its kind that causes that side effect. And the second thing that causes male lactation is overstimulating the nipple. That's right, so if you assault your nipples like I do, there's a very real chance that you could start to lactate. Now I know you female viewers out there are wondering, well this isn't about me, so this isn't a surprising fact I didn't know about myself, I can already lactate. And that's where you're wrong, because now you know that you're not alone in the lactation business, and if that's not surprising, then I simply don't know what is. Number 1. I guarantee you had no idea that being able to do a headstand is so unique to our species. In fact, there is no other living thing on this planet that can do a headstand other than the Asian elephant. And now you know how similar we are to the elephants. So if you were ever thinking about challenging an elephant to a breakdancing competition, I'd think twice. It might just break out the headstand and make you look silly. Well, this has been the very first episode of Hot Feed, and I hope you all learned some very new surprising things about yourself. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to feed yourself and stay hot.